Hey, this is WW Superstar Bailey, and this is my episode of Verified Faithful, presented by Levi's. I grew up on the south side of San Jose, which my mom just told me the other night is called Blossom Valley near Oak Ridge Mall. And then when I was moving into middle school, I moved to northern San Jose and I was right on that border of Milpitas and San Jose. In the Bay Area, you would find me hanging out at a La Vix or iguanas. You know, I love Mexican taquerias in the Bay Area. I love skating. I loved rollerblading. I loved playing kickball at my middle school and high schools. So when I was in Independence High School, I would go to the track and field and just do my workouts, but then I would invite my friends afterwards so we could play kickball and just hang out on the bleachers. When I was a child, my dad obviously, he got me, I was such a tomboy growing up, so he, he can already tell that I was gonna be an athlete, that I wanted to play sports, so every time football came on or basketball and wrestling obviously um, he would have me sit down and watch with him so I guess like when I was a younger kid he got me one of the satin 49er jackets from the Goodwill and I thought it was the best it kept me so warm and I just felt really cool that my dad got it for me I, I met Jerry Rice at the Great Mall and that was really cool I was there for a different autograph session and as I was leaving Jerry Rice was like walking in so he ended up shaking everyone's hand and he was so nice and I was kind of just taken aback because I wasn't expecting to see him and I'll never forget it <laughs> I have been to a 49ers game and it was at the beautiful Levi Stadium and it was so so amazing just being outdoors and so being able to come to the stadium and just see in the atmosphere of all these amazing fans these Bay Area people are wild you know they're like me so it was so much fun the Bay means everything to me first of all my WWE wrestling name is Bailey it was presented to me as B-A-I-L-E-Y. You know, they were like, you need you need a name, we need to get you on TV, you need this. The only way I was going to use that name is if we spelled it B-A-Y-L-E-Y, because I had to feel some connection to it, which made me feel really empowered and really proud to be from the Bay Area. I obviously am a huge fan of George Kittle because he's a huge fan of us. Once I heard that there was a wrestling fan on the Niners, I had to start looking him up and seeing what he was all about and just make sure that I represented him and that I supported him. I've been so wrapped up in um, WWE world that, you know, I have to shout out George Kittle. I became a WWE fan when I was about 10. T-shirts, magazines, action figures, everything I could get my hands on. The Hardy Boys and Lita, The Rock, Stone Cold, these guys were, you know, I just felt I was a part of them. They were a part of me. I would record the shows um, on VHS tape so I could go back and watch it again. The Cow Palace probably, and that was 2004. It was a pay-per-view called No Way Out. That was when Eddie Guerrero first won his WWE Championship, so it was so amazing. And he jumped into the crowd and he carried the California flag and you could just see people in the front row with their Warriors jerseys and their Niners jerseys. It was just such a feel-good moment. I couldn't believe I was there. I chose to donate to the Mental Health Association of San Francisco. You know, I've never worked with this charity before, but when I found out I was doing this with Levi's and the 49ers. I really wanted to make sure that I connected and donated to a charity that, you know, I want to learn more about and I want to be more involved with. And this is a nonprofit charity organization who's located obviously in the Bay Area and they are just focused on our diverse community and the importance of mental health. They have the mental health line 24/7. They're a peer-led group and, you know, they have just been bringing the community together for years and years. I just had a friend recently who committed suicide, so it is right now something that's very important to me. I've had friends over years, obviously, who struggle and families who, you know, family members who struggle with mental health. So the more that I can learn and be involved and especially in my community, that's kind of where my focus is in picking this charity. My character um, Bailey recently has been really into turtlenecks. I want to claim that turtlenecks are my thing, so anybody else in the WWE trying to wear turtlenecks, it just better stop now. I try to dress a little darker, a little rocker-ish. Uh, right now I am lucky enough to be wearing this really cool Levi's uh, kind of denim wash jacket. And it has the buttons that clip, so lucky for me, I don't have to actually button it all, which I'm really bad at. And then of course I have my sweet jersey because I'm number one. And I'm, I'm wearing some really tight black jeans. They're really comfortable. Not only would it look sweet with a turtleneck, but even wearing this out to the ring, I might 
have to cut off the sleeves if that's okay and put something, yeah, I gotta show my muscles. If I put something on the back, right, the role model, right, Bailey, put my face on there, I think this is a really cool entrance jacket. I have yet to perform in front of fans and that is my first step and that's just what we do it for, you know? You feed off the energy and what, what we, how we connect to our fans. So honestly, I, I do have a lot of things that I still wanna do. I don't feel like I'm fully developed yet. I don't feel like I'm, at the level I want to be at. Yeah, I'm at the top and I am the best, I know, but I need to get higher because you need to keep pushing.